what is up guys welcome back to another video so today we are here in farming simulator 2019 as you guys can see we are here on a county line farming series opening the garage here this door will not open never mind we'll open let's open that garage jump in the k30 Truck sounds mean, boys. Close that. And we're gonna have to take the F-250 over to one of these shops down over here. Well, to one of the sheds. And, uh... We're gonna park the F-250, not the F-250, we're gonna park the K-30 right there, we're gonna get in the F-250, F-250 or F-350? F-250, okay. We're gonna go over to one of the sheds, because boy bought a grain cart and we kind of need that so we for a harvest and now an, uh, one upgrade that we did do is we did buy this low loader trailer thing so we could get this truck Fire this thing up, make sure it's in neutral. I love this truck. We can disconnect from that. I love the Ford. I think you guys know I love this truck. It's honestly one of my favorite trucks, so we gotta head down to Platte Valley. Because we bought a green cart for the uh, for the farm. We uh, that's one thing that I did forget to get when we did that live stream. So we uh, gotta get this bad boy out over here. No cop, no stop. This trailer is. Really cool, actually. I like. Um, I swear, I need to disable that. But this trailer, pretty cool. This truck is amazing. That's for sure. For a second, I was contemplating if I was even going the right way. Uh, they did 
did say that they have a tractor ready for us to use. So we're gonna let that unfold and yep, right here. We said to go in through the door right here, keys are in it, and open up the door. I'm really good friends with the owner of this tractor. Nice. So I'm I'm really good friends with the owner of this Platte Valley. And we got ourselves this JM green cart here. Honestly, kind of contemplating now if it even will fit. No, oh, it's gonna fit, no problem. No, we're not taking the tractor home, but this thing is gonna fit perfectly on here. Let's back this up though. So hopefully this grain cart uh, does work out for us today. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it does. Because well, if not, then we just wasted like hundred thousand dollars, basically. Not basically. We did waste a hundred thousand dollars. It's like one ten, hundred twenty thousand dollars. Oh, okay. There's no room for error right now. But I need to get this thing aligned. Like, perfectly straight. And back it up. That's not perfectly straight. I should have just brought one of my own tractors. So I could have just hooked it up. And drove it. Ah, oh, come on. Why am I about to just take this tractor home and leave the truck here? See, it's that back track though that I'm worried about right there. This thing needs to be perfect, just like that. Keeper. Like that. Yep, yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on. Okay, good enough. That is good enough for me, boys. Go ahead and back this tractor in. Hold that up and turn her off. that I think this is gonna work out perfect oh my god oh man oh no oh no alright this is gonna be a little unrealistic I'm sorry though I have to get it on here like somewhat good. I think right there is gonna be like perfect. Okay. Actually, we are gonna roll hazards. Probably scrap her down. Might be a good idea. Um, wish this truck actually had an oversized load sign, but they don't. And I can't, I mean, I could ask someone what's going on, but I'm okay. Okay. 
this is super sketchy. Our farm is literally right there where that red shed is, and you guys can see it right there. If this fence wasn't here, we could maybe cut over. But, you know, that place is somewhat realistic here. I love Casey's. Bro, these windmills are gonna drive me nuts. Alright, any cars coming? Nope. Perfect. Now this right here is a main road, so we do have to kind of be careful with this one right here. Because it is a main road. So I kind of gonna hug the shoulder here a little bit. Just because it's a main road, oh my gosh. Great. Okay. Now we're on a private road. So now we don't need these. Well, this really isn't a private road, but it's a. Uh... I mean, it's somewhat private, I guess. This is like the perfect heavy haul truck right here. I love this truck. Might have to get this for the heavy haul series. Everything looks good back there and in the bridge. This is gonna go in the exact same shed as the combine. And I think next episode next episode here we're actually gonna start farming I think that'd be a fantastic idea if we started farming so let's Exact tractor that we had at the dealership. The only thing that's different is this is a an 8R, not a 7R. Back it up here. Get out so I can open up these doors. Nice, lovely. And I think I'm gonna put it in the right corner. I think. And I did look at planner mods, and none of the planner mods I was really interested in, so we are gonna stay with the field, not the field, but the planter that we have now because that is that's one of the larger planters that I could actually find in FarmZen. Well on the mod hub. That's one of the largest ones that I could find and I figured eh you know what? Why not what am I doing? Oh well. I figured why not let's just drive keep it with that tractor will be perfectly fine. What's the worst thing that can happen? If we need another planter, we'll buy we'll buy the DP60. Who knows? Maybe we can talk to somebody at Platte Valley and get the DB60 on a demo. Because I think the DB60 on a demo would be sick to have on the farm. and fold this trailer up. Not safe to be really driving this trailer when it's unfolding like that, but you know, it's okay. And actually another thing that I do need to get is a skid steer or something like that. Mini excavator would be nice, bobcat would be nice. Any really anything of that nature would be super nice. Alright, and then 
to get back in the F-250. And, uh... Go back home. I want this to look somewhat nice. I'm actually kind of... I'm considering getting grab, uh, ordering a truckload of gravel for this area over here, which I think would be nice if we did do that, because, well, gravel. And let's... No. not hit the Kenworth. I don't even know why I got the Kenworth. Honestly, I might as well just buy another one of these trucks. Because I love these old Fords. Oh, I love this old Ford. I saw it and I just had to have it. Perfect. Close these doors. Get in the F-250. I love this old K30. It's, it's amazing. Especially with the flatbed. Flatbeds are so much better than any other truck. If I had the choice, I would I would buy a flatbed over anything. Actually, I take that back. It depends on what truck it is, because some trucks just don't look good with flatbeds. 30 on the other hand looks amazing with it. As you know, it rolled coal. Park that up. Close the garage. And, uh, let's get something to eat. While we find something to eat here in the refrigerator, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with friends if you've enjoyed, and if you want 10% off on any products on Apex Gaming PCs, click the link down in the description below this video, and you can get 10% off by using code SQUAD. And guys, there is also a massive sale going on because of Black Friday, we got Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the holidays, so massive sales. Plus the squad discount code, plus their discount codes that they're giving out, other YouTubers discount codes. We gotta, you can get that, and then if you use a browser extension, Honey, you can even get it for a lot cheaper. So, yeah, this is gonna be a sick one, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.